Hey, what's up YouTube? Thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you're watching this video, it's because you're probably interested in purchasing one of these keys or maybe you purchased one of these keys. Now, I bought this key on eBay and as soon as I saw it, it caught my attention. Let me show you the stock key that this vehicle has. Uh, my car is a 2002 525i and this is the stock key. Now I saw this key on eBay and as soon as I saw it, it caught my attention because it falls and you know it does all that fancy stuff. So apparently all you gotta do is open the old key and put the chip inside of this key. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see how, how everything works. Now I seem to be having a little problem with, with, with this little device when it falls, sometimes it gets stuck or sometimes it just works just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you and do everything and see if everything works at the end. So um, I gotta take this key to a locksmith and get the key cut and we'll see how it goes. Alright so I'm back from the locksmith and they were able to cut my E39 aftermarket key. So luckily for me I live in Burbank, California and there's a whole bunch of locksmiths around me. Now they charged me $25 and another $25 that I spent on the key so I'm already $50 into this project. Now before you buy this key I would suggest you making a few phone calls, call your local locksmith see if they got the right equipment because I went to three different locksmiths and they didn't have the right equipment so they weren't able to do it. Now in order for you to get the chip out of the stock key you need to cut the key. The key is sealed so the only way to get it open is by cutting it. So this is the perfect time for you to replace the battery. Alright so I seem to be having a little problem with this corner over here so I went ahead and I cut these on a 45 degree angle uh, because the battery was hitting that corner right there. So now it seems to be seems to be fitting just fine but one thing i noticed though is that the the chip sits sideways so i don't know if that's going to affect on the button so let me check it out all right so i'm all done with the key now i put everything back where it belongs and like i said before the chip sits sideways and one thing that i noticed was that that unlock button and it, it, it's it's a little stiff it you have to press it on the corner it's not if you press on the center, you won't unlock. It's really stiff, so I don't, I don't seem to like that. But other than that, like I said before, I like the design of it. When you fold the key, you know, on your pocket, it fits perfectly. It's not bulky, so I like the style of this key. Now, when I went to the locksmith to get my key cut, the girl gave me these instructions for me to follow. She said that I gotta set up the, the chip. Now, this doesn't make any sense because it's not a new chip. It's the existing chip, so. She said that I gotta go to the passenger side, unlock the, 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 the vehicle, go to the trunk, unlock it, go back to the passenger side, unlock it, then go to the driver's side, unlock it, and then I can go back to the ignition and turn it on. She said that if I, did, if I didn't follow these instructions, that the key was gonna get stuck in the ignition, and there was, there was not gonna be a way for me to remove the key unless if I take it to the uh, BMW dealer. So, um, I don't know, I'm not gonna follow those instructions, and we'll see what happens. Everything turns on. See, I'm pressing on the clutch. So you guys can see. Clutch is in. And locks there. Now, let's get the other key. It's right there. And the key doesn't go exactly, I mean, it does go in, but it, since I have a problem, like, turning in the, I mean, turning on the ignition, or at least the position one, see, there we go. So, once again, clutch is in. Nope, it fails. Alright guys, so I guess that's it. I'm gonna wrap up this video by saying it was a fail for me this time. If there's anybody out there that was able to put this project off, please comment below and or make a video. I'll be more than pleased to check it out. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that I did try programming the key how the girl told me, but there's a little problem. There's no keyhole on the passenger side on this vehicle. So... That was impossible, so anyways, uh, once again, thanks for watching, go to my channel, I have a whole bunch of videos there, I show how to do the center console wrapping, this is a uh, copper fiber, fiber vinyl, so check them out, please give a thumbs up, 
and thanks a lot for watching. Peace.